coffee continues to play a significant role in society's daily routine as one of the most popular drinks in the world. Coffee is the second most valuable commodity in the world, with a global market worth more than $100 billion. In nations all over the world, the coffee market is currently expanding significantly due to rising urbanization and consumer desire for rapid, high-quality coffee products. Are you interested in learning more about the coffee trade and the business impacts of the coffee industry as a whole? Keep on watching the video to find out everything you need to know. As always, be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you learn something new here. The Coffee Industry The coffee market is a multi-billion dollar industry that keeps expanding year on year. Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's, the top three coffee retailers, hold nearly 60% of the market share on their own. The coffee industry is expanding at a high rate and the product is nearly entirely manufactured in underdeveloped countries. South America produces the most coffee in these regions, with Brazil producing roughly 43.2 million bags. This represents around 27% of the 158.93 million bags of coffee produced annually in the world. In the US economy, the coffee business creates more than 1,694,500 jobs. Additionally, nearly $28 billion in taxes are generated by the industry. In 2023, the coffee segment will generate at least $495.5 billion in revenue. What's crazy is that the market is anticipated to expand by 4.47% yearly. People aged 19 to 34 make up the majority of this industry's consumer base, and the surge in demand from millennials, whose consumption has climbed by about 10%, is a big factor in the coffee market's expansion. China, Panama, Kenya, Senegal and the United States are predicted to have the fastest global expansion, but specialized coffee shops will continue to hold a significant position in these societies' retail industries. Consumers spend more than $74.2 billion on coffee in the US alone, and the industry supports 1,695,710 jobs nationwide. This represents 1.6% of the country's overall GDP. The Netherlands, Finland, Canada and Sweden are the top four European countries in terms of per capita coffee consumption, each drinking 260.4 litres, 184.9 litres and 141.9 litres respectively. The most well-known businesses in the coffee industry include Dunkin' Donuts, JM Smucker Company, Nestle, Kraft, and the giant Starbucks. Coffee spending. Depending on your taste preferences, location, and what shop you're at, coffee can be an expensive habit if you aren't making it yourself at home. Let's take a look at some coffee spending statistics that might blow your mind. While both sexes enjoy their coffee, on average in the US, women spend more on the beverage than men. Women spend roughly $2,327 per year on their coffee habit compared to men's $1,934 annual expenditure. Coffee chains make some excellent profits with consumer cash. Starbucks is the market leader in coffee sales, with annual sales of $21.4 billion. Dunkin's comes in second, with revenues of $9.2 billion, followed by Pete's Coffee, with $358 million in annual sales. A recent poll found that 14.4% of participants admitted to spending more than $40 per month in coffee shops. The History of Starbucks – A Coffee Retail Giant Starbucks has grown from a single coffee bean shop in Seattle to a 30,000 cafe global coffee powerhouse over the course of its 47-year existence. During the first 10 years of its existence, Starbucks didn't really resemble what it does now. Starbucks primarily concentrated on selling premium coffee beans and treating coffee as a commodity. However, as soon as Howard Schultz joined the business, he recognized the potential for customers not only to take their coffee beans home for personal use, but also to drink specialty coffee right away. In essence, Schultz sought to replicate the atmosphere of an Italian coffee house by creating a welcoming space where coffee enthusiasts could taste their drinks and be enticed to return for more. The company's 1992 initial public offering 
helped to finance the chain's brisk expansion throughout the decade, contributing to Starbucks' exceptional growth pace. Starbucks expanded its US coffeehouse network and opened shops in Japan, England, China, Australia, and more than a dozen other nations between 1990 and 2000. From company-owned stores, Starbucks makes between $3,800 and $520 per store each day. There may be up to 100 million Starbucks customers worldwide. How much do small coffee shops make? Coffee has larger profit margins than most other food items, and coffee shops frequently have cheaper operating costs than other types of establishments. Small coffee shop owners often earn between $60,000 and $160,000 per year, and the national coffee sector generates about $70 billion in sales annually. Coffee shops typically earn between 75% and 80% of their total sales, which is higher than comparable restaurant business models. Your coffee shop's revenue is influenced by a variety of factors, including its location, menu, labor costs, and more. Small to medium-sized coffee shop owners might earn between $60,000 and $160,000 per year. The typical restaurant owner's pay ranges from 2% to 6% of sales. In a small business, depending on how much work you put in, your income may be paid as a bigger percentage of the earnings. Depending on the cost of producing the food and other KPIs, the majority of coffee shops turn a profit within the first few years of business. By year five, coffee cafes can anticipate a doubling in sales. Budget carefully for unforeseen expenses, startup fees, and the costs associated with your first year of business. With a clear understanding of how to forecast the revenue for your coffee shop, you can now project when your company will break even and identify the first profitable month. Coffee and the economy. Did you know that the world economy partially depends on coffee? Coffee has significant economic value for developing nations and significant social value in countries that consume it. Coffee typically generates annual export revenues of over $10 billion and can represent more than three quarters of all export revenues in some parts of the world. Since coffee shops are currently popular, they contribute to the area's economic growth by bringing in more tourists and potential customers for both the coffee shop and other local attractions. A whopping 300 jobs are generated at just 14 Starbucks locations. They also claim to have created more than 1,110 indirect employment opportunities, worth more than $59.7 million in economic growth. As you can see, coffee is a hugely important part of the economy and the world. You might not have realized it before, but the coffee industry generates billions of dollars in revenue every year. It also helps create jobs for farmers, roasters, baristas, and so many more people. Now that you've reached the end of the video, what do you think? Would you start your own local coffee shop? Let us know down in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one.